Okay, so here we are approaching the end of July and the harvest has started. I'm sure you've seen the uh, combine harvest out in the field. And in the produce world, we are almost right in the middle of the plentiful supply of English produce of all different shapes and sizes. So starting with fruit, we've got both strawberries and raspberries now, both from the new forest. The strawberries scarily are not that seasonal anymore and these will go right the way through to November even maybe they're trying to get into Christmas. The raspberries are though, we are in the raspberry season and that's relatively short still only three or four months and then the shortest season of all the gooseberries, these are from the Y Valley um, and they've still only got a four or five week season so really seasonal produce, they're probably the most seasonal. Um, and then moving on to veg, broad beans are in season, broccoli is right in mid season. Um, the old snowfall carrots are, are winners. And then um, this year we have got both pine bean and monge too, both again from the Y Valley, both um, good quality English produce and um, nice to get something that's from here, absolutely almost not zero food miles obviously but very very minor food miles compared to most of the rest of the year when it comes from Africa from either Rwanda or from Kenya so plenty of British produce available and oh just when I did this and what going on to salads we're now getting these um, very colorful very tasty mixes of tomatoes from the Isle of Wight some old traditional varieties in there and that one particularly I've forgotten the name of that actually, Coeur de Boeuf. Um, doesn't sound very British, is it? It must be from France, but they're grown over here at the moment and full of flavour and be around with us for the next three or four weeks.